of Telefilm Company. Without You, Episode 12. Who's here? Hi. Katya, you're alive. Dmitro, I'm sorry for coming here. I know I shouldn't have, but it just... Have you talked to the security? Yes. And? Have they found out who entered the house and how? Not yet. We're looking through the video. The intruder hasn't left any traces. The security head believes it was a pro. Pro or not, they must be somehow connected with that detective's family. Otherwise, why would they plant the picture at Lisa's bedstand? One of their relatives might have found out something. I don't think so. Zharinov and his wife grew up in an orphanage. They didn't have family to revenge them. God, now I don't feel safe in my own house. If I wasn't sure our ghost was dead, only he could do such a clean job. Okay, that's it for today. I am tired. Hush, it won't hurt. That's it. What the heck? Why didn't you tell me sooner? I was in shock. Alessia's father killed my family. Dmitro. You have to call her and warn her about the danger. My godfather will not stop in his attempts to hurt Zubov at his weakest spot, his family. I can call Alessia being dead and all that. I'll do it. Why are you protecting her? Didn't you want to avenge your family? Yes, I want to revenge them. But Alessia has nothing to do with it. It wouldn't be fair to make her pay. But Zubo will be punished for what he had done. I believe that the best punishment for him would be prison. With his ego and arrogance, he will not take the humiliation lightly. You're right, of course. But he will never go to prison with his money in connections. So, guerrilla war is all we have left. 
Well, you can't play possum forever. Why not? You forget that I've been dead for years. Buried with my family. Right. Have you ever wanted to reclaim your real name? Clara is, of course, a nice name, but Katya, Katusha, it sounds more familiar. Also, Katya the Ratty, Katya the Snotty. You have always been good at rhyming. All I could come up with was Dmitry, the chipmunk. When I found out that you were dead, I realized that without you, I wasn't alive. I love you. When you're around, everything falls in its places. Like a puzzle being put together. As if all my life leads me to the point where you're waiting. Me too. What? I love you too. Young man, do you know what time it is? It's late. Yes, you can't get to my daughter because she's asleep, and her phone is probably turned off. Anyway, she doesn't work for you anymore, so stop calling her at night. Who was that? Olesia's ex-boss. Dmitro, I believe. She's quit, and they want her to work on them, and in the small hours at that. Wait, what did he want? To talk to Olesia. He couldn't get to her. And asked me to go check if she's all right. Maybe he was drunk? He didn't sound drunk, though. How strange. That's what I thought. No, that's not what I meant. Olesa usually doesn't turn off her phone at night. That was strange. Go back to sleep. We're not going to wake her up in the middle of the night. Let her sleep. What am I going to say to her? That I came to look for the boogeyman under her bed? Turn off the light, let's sleep. Okay, okay, I'll go. You think he'll check up on Alicia? I think so. He's her father. Well, see you tomorrow. It's so hard to leave you. Dmitro, I'm happy when I'm with you, but... I don't like the sound of this, but... You're married and I don't want to ruin your family. I want you to know that what happened between us doesn't bind you in any way. Katya. My family had been ruined before you showed up. Nadia and I should have never get married. We wouldn't if not for her pregnancy. But now she's in trouble and she needs you. I don't want to take you away from her. Katya, it's my decision, okay? Yes, Nadia is in a bad place right now, and I won't leave her until I'm sure that she's okay. But I will divorce her. It's a matter of weeks. And I'll do it, whether you are with me or not. I don't want to be with the wrong person. You can't influence my decision. Just accept it. I love you, and I'll never let you go.
Olesa. Baby, are you asleep? Just like I thought. Good morning, Mr. Zubo. Hi. Where's everybody? Mom has a migraine and our daughter is still asleep. She probably stayed up late reading. Bon appétit. And Roman left last night. What did I miss? Where to? To visit his friends, I think. When is he coming back? I don't know. Well, what does it mean? Him living like this? When the family is in this situation, I'm speechless. Allah. Yes? Please tell Olesa to come to breakfast. Of course. Let the girl sleep in. I barely see my daughter. I'll be at work till late. Can I at least see her at breakfast? Olesa, good morning. Your parents are waiting for you at the dining room. Alessia, do you hear me? Alessia. Lisa, maybe you can talk to your mom about a loan for me. Alexa, you know it won't work. Well, is our princess up already? I don't know how to tell you. You'd better take a look. And? What does it mean? Has she run away from home? Maybe she joined Roman? Nonsense. Her phone is here and so is her purse. Call the security. Of course. Let's find out when she left. What does it mean? This childish behavior. She wants her dad to have a stroke. Alexa, what if she was kidnapped? All her stuff is here and she isn't. I hope you don't mean it. Maybe she went on a run. Let's not panic until we have a reason. Good morning, my love. Good morning, my love. Morning. Are you going to work so early? No, I need to go to the drugstore first to get the meds prescribed by your doctor. Mitro, I don't need any meds. I feel great because you're with me. No, really, Dmitro, I don't need anything. I feel great and uh, yesterday I freaked out. It happens to everyone. It's just that everything was peeling up. I'm sure it won't happen again. 
Nadia, I'm sorry, but I've heard this a thousand times before. And then your breakdowns came back. The doctor says you're heavily depressed. It's serious. Are you saying that I'm crazy? Of course not. Don't be so hostile about your diagnosis. Depression is like, like a flu. It's just that it's your nerves that are affected, but you treat it with pills too. If you leave flu untreated, it won't end well, will it? Dmitro, I'm sorry, but I feel that this is total crap. I'm sorry, but comparing depression to flu? But it's true. Help your nervous system. Help it recover. Besides, all you need to do is follow through with your treatment. Just do it. Do it for us. For the sake of all the good times we had. Okay. Wait. Is it just me or... Do you sound as if you're going to leave me? No. I just wanted to get through to you. <laughs> Any news of Alessia? No. Okay, what the hell? Alessia. Please, leave a message. What the hell does it mean? God save and protect my daughter. Lisa, please don't get yourself into a state. Maybe she just went to the city early in the morning. Baby, baby, Allah says Olesi is missing. Is it true? Yes, mama. I'm worried sick. All her stuff is in her room, but she is nowhere to be found if something happens to her. Lisa, Lisa, please. This definitely isn't helping. Have they found her? I am sorry. The security says Alessia didn't leave the compound neither at night nor in the morning. Her car is still here. No one left or came since yesterday. We should call Roman. He must know something. Mom. Roman left yesterday. He has nothing to do with this. Let's not alarm him without reason. Maybe she really is just hanging out somewhere. No, I have looked everywhere. Alessia isn't here. Okay, I'm calling the police. Hello? Police? My daughter is missing. I need to file a report. How do I do it? Mom. If I lose another daughter, I won't survive it. Alessia will come back. She will, I'm sure. Why can't I go to the US with you? I'm back in shape. This tour was the dream of my life. I've been waiting for so long. I have to do it. Nadia, how many times do I have to tell you? You don't even have a visa. I can get a visa very quickly. It's impossible. But even if a miracle happens, we won't print out new programs and posters. They all say Petrova, not to mention hotel reservations and flights booked in her name. I'm not going to indulge your whims. It's not a whim. Listen, I'm better than Petrova and you know that. Why are you treating me like that now? I used to be your prima. And now you seem to think I'm incapable. Nadia, you're a smart girl. You know the ballet rules. Give the way to the young. Are you saying I'm old? This is discrimination. I will report you. Go ahead. Report me to anyone you want. It won't change anything, including your age. How long have they been chatting? At least 30 minutes. Trying to persuade him to replace me with her? Probably. Did she say something to you? I'm not talking to her. Take my advice. Accept it. We've all gone through it. There always will be a job for you here, but not as a prima. If you aren't happy, you can always put in a notice. I can't believe you're telling me this. 
you who was admiring me on stage so recently. Ballet dancers are like butterflies. They are beautiful while they dance, but they don't live long. You knew that when you chose this path. Excuse me, you have a visitor. I heard you were begging him to take you back. You heard wrong. I wasn't begging anyone. And the manager called me himself. Really? I wonder why. Make a guess. Three tries. <laughs> Nadia, please wait. It can be true. No one changes dancers right before the tour. Nadia, please wait. Nadia. What do you want? Hi. Hi. Hi, Nadia. What do you want from me? I just wanted to know how you were. I'm worried. Great, fantastic. Anything else? What do you care? Well... Hi. Well... We... Stop mumbling, say it. We have been friends for so many years. Friends? Come on. I only hang out with you because you're our manager's niece. Without him, you are nothing. Without him, you're zero. An errant girl, that's all. You don't mean it. Do you? Yes, I mean it. Look at yourself. You're a mouse. Do you really think someone like me would be friends with someone like you? I don't care about you, and I never did. Face it. Yes, Dad. Do you have something? No, son. I haven't been to the office yet. I'll let you know if I find something on Adamovsky. Good. Talk to you later. Anatoly? Thanks. Are you guys reopening the Adamovsky case? Hadn't it got you into enough trouble? You got fired because of it. Stay out of it, okay? How can I if you are putting your family at risk again, involving your son? Relax. Adamovsky is long dead. I'm not an idiot. Yes, Adamovsky is dead, but his son-in-law Zubov filled in his place. He might be even worse. Please make our son stop. It won't end well for him. I should go to work. You're not leaving until we have talked. Since when do you interfere with men's business? I've been doing it all my life. If I didn't, you'd have ruined it all. You're exaggerating. No, I'm rather playing it down. If I didn't talk to your boss back then, he would have officially fired you for drinking. You didn't just mess with Adamovsky. You were also on a binge after your Olha's death. When I went to Olha to beg her not to break up our family. If not for me, our son would grow up without a father. What? You went to talk to Olha? Yes. So? I was protecting my family. Do you think it was easy to watch you flirting with your best friend's wife? Svetlana, how could you? I never told her about my feelings. God, so it was a secret. Okay, I've had enough. I'm feeling for a divorce. Cut this bullshit. People don't get divorced at our age. So we'll be the first. You need professional help. A divorce. Clara. It's worse than we thought. I've just found out Olesa is missing. Try again to contact your godfather. Looks like he had a part in it. Okay, I'll try to call him, but I don't think he'll take my call. Dmitro, please be careful and keep me posted. Please leave a message. God damn it, Godfather. God damn you to hell.
Okej. Okay. Zubą. Stop this drama. You are wrinkling your shirts. I don't want to iron them again. You seem to worry more about my shirts than my leaving. Because it's nonsense. Where would you go? I'll find a place. I should have left long ago. I am sick of this. Oh, sick of what? Tidy house, tasty meals, iron clothes. You think you'll find another fool to do all this for you? Don't worry. I'll hire a housekeeper. Okay. I don't understand. Why are you suddenly leaving? Because I talked to your potential mistress 20 years ago? Because I didn't let her ruin our family. Olga would never have tried to ruin it. She was a decent person. And she loved her husband and not me. Actually, Svetlana, I've been living with you all these years out of habit and duty, that's all. Stop right there. Stop. So, you've always been with me out of duty? Why were you courting me? You were chasing me, not vice versa? Why did you marry me if you didn't love me? Don't say it was a shotgun wedding. It was your fault. You're right. Absolutely right. It's all my fault. I started this mess, and I must put a stop to it. All right. Doing the chores? I hate being idle. I missed you. I missed you too. So, any news about Alessia? No, I'm sorry. She disappeared into thin air. Have you told your bosses that my godfather is alive? No. Who will believe me without proof? I reached some of the guys and asked to look for him unofficially. Have you talked to your godfather? No, and I don't think I'll get a chance to. If my godfather set his sight on something, he can be stopped. Right. I wonder how he lured Alessia out of the house. The security claims no one entered or left the house last night. Yes, just like that night when Godfather and I sneaked into the house to leave a surprise for Zubo, aren't he? Do you have any idea how he could have done it? I do, but I don't think you'll like my theory. Come on, I'll show you. Look, 
Here. Where did you get Zubov's house plan? I got it when I was preparing to go there with my godfather. Well, Zubov's house looks like a regular fortress. But fortress have weak spots too, look. This and this are blind spots. Through them you can get into the house at night, if you watch out for the cameras. And if you hack into the security video system. And loop the video on an old fragment. Right. You'd make a good robber. I prefer to stay a cop, and so should you. So what are your conclusions? There are three ways to get into the house, unnoticed and obviously three ways to leave. But only for one person walk into their own. Godfather could not take Alessia out of the house by force. The guards would have seen them. You think she's still inside? I don't see any other options. Are you sure you've checked everything? Yes. But I'll double check. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave you either. But you have to. What? Did I do something wrong? No. I just never planned to be a married man's mistress. <laughs> Not for long. I'm getting a divorce. But... No buts. It's my decision. You're late again. God. Oh my God, Clara. Clara, you are alive. I am. Clara, baby. Alive and kicking. You are alive, Clara, dear. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you sooner. Auntie Lisa, I'm looking for Godfather. Do you know where he is? He is... there. So you don't know. Uncle Grigory is alive too. All this show was for him to get out of jail. Oh my God. Auntie Lucia. God. I thought he has already been here and you know where to find him. Oh God. Bastard. There, there. Bastard. He's such a bastard. I've been crying my eyes off. Holy shit. Let me just get to him. I'll kill him myself. What has he done this time? Kidnapped Zubov's daughter. I won't have to do anything then. Zubo will be the one to kill him. I'm sorry, Clara. I really don't know where he is. That's bad. Very bad. Clara. Clara, dear. Forgive me. What for? For not sending you to an orphanage. You'd be better off there. God, what are you saying? I mean it. I was a bad custodian at an orphanage. You wouldn't see all this filth, wouldn't have to become a criminal. Aunt Lucia, stop it. You were a great custodian. No, I let you stay only because of Grigori. To tie him to me. He'd have dumped me if not for you. Aunt Lucia, I am a big girl. I know why he'd been coming here. Not because I was here. He was coming for you. Anything? She's not there. Not in the attic either. Have you found any digital trace? I've checked. She hasn't been online since yesterday. No social networks, no using her email. 
She couldn't just disappear. I don't understand what you're looking for here. We have already searched the house. You should concentrate on the city. I'm sorry, but your idea about Olesa being in the house seems absurd. We would have found her by now. Maybe you're right, but let's not rule it out. Are you sure we have searched everything? Yes, the house, the garden, the garage. Your men have turned every rock. Still, I'd like to search the house again. There are no places left to look. Do you hear me? Do you think a serial killer entered the house, killed our daughter, and hid the body in the plain sight? Lisa, Lisa, darling, calm down. See what you've done. You know where the door is. Easy, easy. We're sorry for the disturbance. Alexa, Alexa, where is our girl? What did they do to her? Calm down. What if she's dead? Calm down. Olesa is alive. I can feel it. They just needed to make sure she isn't here. Aunt Lucia, I'm sorry, I need to go. Here I have written down my number. Call me if he shows up, okay? Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Dmitro, have you found her? She's definitely not in the house. We've searched it. Vasil will download the security video and we'll leave. Zubov is already worked up. Yes, I'm sure. The garage, the attic, all the rooms, yes. Yes. The basement. What other basement? I know there is another basement, under the gazebo in the end of the backyard. The gazebo? Thanks for the tip, darling. Okay. Be careful, okay? And call me when you know anything. Mm -hmm. Me too. Vasil. What? Move it. What is it? I said move it. So you having an affair with this Dmitro? You didn't learn your lesson. I'm sorry, Aunt Lucia, but it's none of your business. If he betrayed his wife, he'll betray you too. No, Dmitro isn't like this. So are all of them. I didn't think you were so naive. Aunt Lucia, I'll deal with my love life myself. No, you won't. Like I hadn't dealt with mine in my time. Clara, you always need someone to call out your mistakes. Lookers don't see more than players. If I had broken up with Grigori and found myself a decent man, I wouldn't be here now. Don't repeat my mistakes. Don't be a fool. Actually, Uncle Grigori has never been married. You are wrong. He has always been married to his freedom. It's even worse. Run from that man before it's too late. If you get attached, you'll ruin your life. It's too late, Aunt Lucia. You can run away from yourself. Just listen to me. According to an old plan of your house, the other basement is under the gazebo down the courtyard. We haven't checked it yet. What other basement? Don't you think I don't know my own house? What's going on here? We'll check, okay? I believe they are wasting their time. Once in a blue moon, I agree with your husband. They should look outside the estate. Mom, they're cops. They know what they're doing. They must be kidding me. I told them they should look in the city. Yes, in the city. Olesa, Olesa, you're alive. You're alive. Relax, you're okay, you're okay, you'll be fine.
Okay, I've had enough. I'm calling their bus. She's here! Here! She's alive! Oh my god. My little girl. You're okay. I don't understand. I went to bed and then he came and said that he was here to get back at my father, that... that I'll run down here and he will never know. I was so scared, Mitra. You'll be okay. You're fine. Calm down. Oh, God. Never mind. We'll see who wins. Oh, God. Olesha. God, baby. My darling. Mommy, I was so scared. And God. My baby. Mommy, dear. Let's go inside, quick. Mommy. Come on, come on. Mom, Mom Dad, don't worry. I'm fine now. Forgive us, baby. Girls, I think you both need a rest. I've doubled the security. Not even a mouse will pass by. Let's go, Lisa. Our girl needs rest. I love you, my darling. I love you too. And I love you both. Let's go. Good night. Dad, wait. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yes, of course. What did you want to say? The man who kidnapped me. He said he wanted to get back at you. What for? I don't know. I really don't. Who knows what he took into his head? He's crazy. He didn't look like a madman, rather like a man who knows what he's doing. Can you describe him? I think so. I'll work with the sketch artist tomorrow to make a composite portrait. Great idea. Now rest. Don't worry. Yes. I'm with you. Daddy will protect you, I promise. Good night. Roman, hi. Hi, it's Rita. Roman is in the shower. In the shower? What are you doing here? I thought you had left. I don't suppose this is yours. We found another one like it in the basement. Are you saying I had been watched in my own study? Looks like it. How did you know it was here? Let's say an expert gave me a tip. I haven't thanked you for saving my daughter. Thank you for not listening to me and going ahead with the search. It's my job. If you ever need my help, just let me know. I'll keep it in mind. I knew you would come. I've been waiting for you. Did you call Aunt Lucy after all? You've screwed it up. How could I think that you were such a weak fool? In addition to saving the girl, that cop took off all my cameras. Godfather, stop. You are up to the elbow in blood. You're no better than Zubo. You're targeting innocent people. No one in this world is innocent. Zubov had to pay for the deaths of my friends and Foxy. 
And he would. Too bad you forgot your family so soon. I didn't forget them. But it wasn't Alessia's fault. She didn't kill anyone, and she is my friend. Your friend. You belong to different worlds. You're something like help for her. Tell me what do you want? Revenge? Why didn't you act 20 years ago? Or did you just feel the taste of freedom? Do you want to kill your master and take his place? You can do it anyway. Why is that? Because you don't think big enough. Or you wouldn't be afraid of Zubal for so long. If you want justice for my family, testify against Zubov. What do you know about it, smart girl? You found yourself a married cop? I never thought you'd stoop so low. He is not a copper. He is my Dmitro. I know what his name is. You don't know anything, Godfather. He is Dmitrik, my Dmitrik, Uncle Anatoly and Auntie Sveta's son. Wait a minute. His they are son? Yes. Well, it explains a lot. Godfather, give a statement against Zubo. Let's put an end to this nightmare together. And I'll go straight to jail. Thank you. Cut the drama. Prison is your home away from home. You feel better there than you do outside. That's what you think. Godfather, don't you dare leave. I won't let you. How are you going to stab me? I won't let you finish what you've started. Clarita, don't be ridiculous. Which one of us is the killer? You or me? Don't you dare go away. Don't make me do this. Do you hear? I forbid you to go. Godfather, wait. Damn it. Godfather, come back. Lisa, I've been thinking. This detective, Dimitro, he seems okay. What do you mean? He's so... Olesa. What? I think he's married. Well, there is always a divorce. They don't have children. I've made inquiries. Weren't you going to arrange her marriage with Victor? No, this Victor is... sort of bland. This one, though, is... okay. It's for her security, too. We can't give her a 24-7 bodyguard. She loves her freedom too much for that. If she were married to a cop, though, that would be different. Listen, you know I only want the best for our daughter. Together, we could persuade her. I'll think about it. Good girl, I'll be waiting. No! 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 Foxy! Look at you, you're so big! What was that? Nadia. 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 Shit. <laughs> 